So one of the more controversial game announcements in recent memory was, of course, Red Dead Redemption. Now, there had been rumors that something Red Dead related was going to happen. We got our ratings on the Korean ratings board. Of course, we got some updated images on Rockstar's website, and people were excited for this because Red Dead Redemption was probably one of the best games of 2010. Of course, this game came out on the Xbox 360 and the PlayStation 3, so people were wondering, well, is this going to be like a full-on remake? Is it going to be a remaster? What are they going to do with this? Of course, that announcement has come and gone, and, well, it wasn't quite what people were expecting. Red Dead Redemption Conversion was announced for the Nintendo Switch and PlayStation 4 slash PlayStation 5. Why no Xbox version? Well, because of the fact that you can actually play your Xbox 360 game on your Xbox Series X, and it's automatically upscaled. You can actually buy that brand new off Amazon for $30 right now, whereas the PlayStation 4 slash 5 and Nintendo Switch versions of the games are $50. Now, the PlayStation 5 will run the game at the same fidelity of the Xbox. Series X, but it's missing the online multiplayer, so it felt like a cheap cash grab for PlayStation owners, and I can understand why. But Nintendo Switch owners didn't seem to have all that vitriol towards it, they seem to be a bit more accepting, and the answer for that is very clearly simple. Like, it's not because Nintendo owners are giving this game a pass or anything like that, it's simply because of the fact that this game was never on a Nintendo platform. It came out in 2010 for the Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, no Wii U version of the game, and this game has never been available natively portably as this game is not available on pc or anything like that so people were kind of excited for the switch version being able to play red dead redemption a huge western open world game on the go seemed like a very appetizing appeal for a lot of people i ended up picking up the game i've been playing it a bunch and there's some things i want to say about it so red dead redemption is the story of john marston his wife and kid are held kidnapped and he is basically having to do some stuff in order to get them back take out some gangs and gang leaders and that's pretty much the crux of the story but of course as you go throughout this world it's a rock star game so the story constantly has different paths and different branches that end up happening based on what you're doing within the game there might be some story elements that you completely miss if you're not following if you go off the path of the main story and stuff like that as far as side stuff everything in this world feels very alive as far as storytelling is concerned and i don't think anyone was really worried about that for the Switch version because this is an established game, one of the best games of 2010. The worry and concern for the Switch version of the game is, of course, performance because when you look at stuff like the gta trilogy it was kind of released in a bit of a rough state it's gotten a little bit better over time but people were afraid that that was going to be the situation with this game and i could say with 100 percent full confidence that is incorrect this game runs brilliantly on the Nintendo Switch. I will go on a limb and say that it looks better than the 360 version. While they didn't like redo all the stuff in the game, they did do some minuscule stuff, such as touching up some textures and improving some of the lighting stuff. As far as the original Xbox 360 version of this game is concerned, the Nintendo Switch version does look a little bit better. And that's because, like I said, they did some very minor touches. But if you looked at the trailer side by side, comparative to the original version of this game you would see stuff like that you know the lighting is better the colors are better and a little bit deeper than they were on the xbox 360 version of the game i don't know what a conversion really means to me it just seems like a slightly enhanced port but it's not really a remake or a remaster but whatever rockstar did for this version of the game it looks fantastic the game runs at 1080p 30 frames per second in dock mode 720p 30 frames per second in handheld mode whether you're playing it in dock or handheld mode the experience Experience is exactly the same smooth no frame rate hiccups or anything like that and things can get pretty crazy in this game but the switch manages to handle it just fine I will say I played a good chunk of this game on the OLED and it looks gorgeous like it looks really really good you know how sometimes you get that Vaseline smear on games when you're playing it in handheld mode this felt like a game that would be you know a game that would be a candidate for something like that but no the game looks absolutely beautiful very crisp but very crisp textures and it's pretty impressive stuff yes there is some pop-up that happens from time to time and sometimes as you're coming closer to an object it'll get a little bit clearer or get more details on it but this is a huge game this is a huge open world game of course this game sort of relies on the whole wild wild west mechanic of the early 1900s and i feel like it really encapsulate that in a, in a great 
great way. There's a day and night cycle. There's different sorts of weather that you come across. And everything just feels very alive. Whether you're out there hunting wildlife or you stumble across an enemy camp and some dude is like, hey, we got to save my daughter. And you try to take out all the enemies. You take out all the enemies. You get to the last guy and then you kind of mess up and he ices the dude's daughter i expected the mission to restart but no now this dude's daughter is dead and the blood is on my hands because i messed everything up of course you have your main story missions that are usually a bit more detailed and in-depth than your side missions but the side missions can be really fun and just finding them on your own is a really good time of course like every rockstar game there's a monetary system where you can get different sorts of things weapons and bullets and stuff like that you can get health ailments as well that will increase your health you can go to the bar and have some drinks get in a fight it's very realistic to what the wild wild west was about and one thing i like about it is this game doesn't really go overboard with either the storytelling and the gameplay you know so like grand theft auto games they are rooted in reality but sometimes they get a little bit crazy whereas this game it feels very real it feels very you know you're in this wild wild west you're going about all your missions on horseback and you know you got your revolvers and your your uh rifles and stuff like that in order to take out enemies you're skinning enemy or animals in order to get their hides and stuff like that like it's it's very cool stuff and the presentation of the game is just absolutely top notch. The controls translate very well to the Nintendo Switch version of the game as well. You can also slow down time in order to take out different enemies with a bar. It's like a meter that fills up and then you use it and then you can use it again uh, later on once it fills up once again. But it's a really cool mechanic. That was a whole big thing back in that time frame. But I feel like it suits this game well because you can take out multiple enemies. You get you get all sorts of or like random stuff that happens too. Like I was right riding into town and like some dudes were just letting off shots and I didn't know what was going on so I was like yo why y'all letting off shots y'all just robbed someone or something so I shot one of the dudes and then like six of them just just ganged up on me iced me killed me killed my horse and I was like that was freaking cool man I played this game back on the Xbox 360 you know, probably 13 years ago, and I absolutely loved it. I thought it was a great game then, and I still think it's a great game now. So should Nintendo Switch owners plop down the $50 for this game? You know what? I'm going to say yes. I honestly feel like this is not only one of the best-looking games on the Nintendo Switch, but the amount of content that you get is a lot comparative to other games. Like, I get it. $50 is a lot of money, and it probably should have been $40, all things considered. You can always wait for a sale or something like that. And, of course, if you have an Xbox system, you could just buy the 360 version of the game, pop it into your system, and play it there. But if you only own a Nintendo Switch, bro, I say buy this game. Like, it's really... It's, it's a very impressive port. I did not think it would look and run as good as it does. And you're saying, well, it's a 13-year-old game. Of course it's going to run good. Look, there's something called game engines. There's something called optimization. There's a reason why certain games don't come to the Nintendo Switch. And it's not because of the raw power. It's because the engine is not very compatible with the Switch. Think about when the Saints Row 3 came out. And it was like a weird, it had all these problems and stuff like that. And people couldn't understand, oh, it's just an Xbox 360 game. It's because of the engine used within that game supposedly the source code for red dead redemption is a complete mess so the fact that this is the game that they churned out at the high level of quality giddy up partner get your spurs on your your saddles on and i'm horny let's do it riding my pony we should have put a little genuine in the game but yeah dude um i like this game a lot I think it's it's a fantastic version of the game for the first time being on a Nintendo platform, being able to take this game portably with you, and just a high level of quality. You're going to get a ton of gameplay out of this game. I always dick around and just do my own little thing, and the game rewards you for that. There's like different survival things you do as well, hunting down animals and stuff. Like There's a ton of content in this game besides just the main story. You have the Undead Nightmare DLC as well, which is like zombie stuff. I'm enjoying it, man. I, I dropped 50 on it, and I have zero regrets. So let me know in the comment section down below what you think of this. Regardless of whether you want to pick it up at $50 or not, I say you should buy this game eventually. You know, if it goes on sale or something like that for like 40 30 bucks, whatever, pick it up then. But it's a high-quality port, man. They, they didn't skimp out on anything. It's much better than a GTA trilogy is, and it's one of the best games 
really of all time now available portably on your nintendo switch let me know what you think of it in the comments have you picked up this game if not will you pick it up i recommend that you do and as always guys thank you for checking out this video if this is your first time on the channel welcome be sure to hit that subscribe button like comment and share hit that bell notification as well so you're not missing out on any uploads that i do check out the secondary channel as well rgt85 stash lots of fun stuff going on over there and as always i'll catch you guys on the next video later